um, 5C, and this is REZ 24-03. It's the Southern Gardens location, and that address is 4609 Bemis Road. This involves five acres. It is currently CG, and the request is for PD, and it will be by county utility. Mr. Dillon. Yes, sir. This request is for PD in order to accommodate a 60-unit apartment complex with amenities. It's within the corridor overlay on Bemis Road, the urban service area, a neighborhood activity character center, neighborhood activity center character area, which per conference plan guidance, neighborhood activity centers should include a mix of retail services to offer residents day-to-day -day needs. The residential development should reinforce the center by locating higher density housing options adjacent to the center, targeted at a broad range of income levels, including multifamily townhomes, apartments, and condominiums. You know the zoning pattern here of the plan development <coughs> Northeast, north, and northwest being mixed uh, single family duplexes and apartments. And you'll notice across the street there, Hamilton Green, plan development for townhomes. You'll note the properties to the south are vacant commercial properties. And the CH portion immediately adjoining this property is currently developed uh, partly as a car wash. So again, you see that suburban and neighborhood activity center character areas. No wetlands on the map to speak of. And this is the original site plan that was proposed at the beginning of this uh, application process. The applicant took this one to the Planning Commission and based on some of their feedback, created an updated site plan. This locates the two three-story buildings along the northern and southern property lines, relocating the one-story community building to the west along the uh, Glen Laurel subdivision to the single-family homes, set back approximately 85 to 97 feet as indicated on the site plan. Again, this is an overall aerial view from approximately 30 feet up, looking immediately south at the vacant properties that are currently zoned CG. This is the remainder of the Southern Gardens property you see here. As we tilt more to the west, you see the uh, backside of Glen Laurel subdivision. And then as we tilt to the north, you will see the duplexes of Patriot's Place. And again, continuing to the, to the north here, you see the <coughs> complexes. Coming into the view there, two-story apartments along the western side and three-story apartments on Patriot's Place as well. And again, that partially built out commercial portion that you saw, uh, currently a car wash. Across the street, you noted the commercial there, the Domino's, Subway, and Dollar General. And then the uh, Hamilton Green townhomes, currently under construction across the street again, 80 units there. So again, just looking south along the beam at that vacant property, where you get to uh, leave Lighthouse Baptist Church. This is a view from the ground again of that property. You'll notice the site plan in the upper right hand corner showing the approximate view and location. Again, looking more towards the west from the ground view and an approximate 30 foot view looking to the west as well. Now, looking to the north again at the duplexes. Again, partially the duplexes and the apartments. The commercial property, three story apartments in the, in the background there, and then across the street at Hamilton Green Town Homes under construction. So again, this was the original site plan that was proposed. And this is the updated site plan relocating the proposed building away from the single family residential to the west. So with that being said, the TRC did analyze the request, the standards governing zoning powers, the 10105, and the factors most relevant. Um, noting that the site plan does meet all technical standards from the TRC's perspective, it meets the comprehensive plan and the existing land use pattern. And then again, therefore, recommending approval of that plan. After the Planning Commission, the updated site plan, again, the TRC reviewed it at their meeting, found it still compliant with the increase in spaces here compared to the original site plan, and still recommends approval. So, Commissioners, if you so move to approve the request, I would ask that you just please specify if it's for the original or the revised site plan. Any questions for Mr. Dillon? I hate to ask, but that's for that wonderful aerial drone view. But the, but the property immediately to the north, there's no unoccupied property there now. It's the car lot. Yes, sir. There is the duplexes on the western portion of that northern property. And then you see the car wash on that front half. There is a parcel immediately adjacent to that car wash that could be developed, but it's still the commercial highway zoning. Beyond that is the Patriot Place Apartments, the three-story building. CH is on either side. CH is the immediate parcel to the north. CG is immediately to the south, those vacant properties. If we had any interest, any anybody come in and talk about any development on those two? 
We have not been contacted about those two properties. We have been contacted about other properties immediately in this area uh, for potential development, but we have not met with them yet. Thank you. The, the pond on the property, is that a retention pond? Yes, sir. I believe the applicant's uh, engineers here can better answer some of the more detailed questions, but that is typically what it is shown for. Yes, sir. Any other questions for Mr. Newell? Um, just uh, the buffer area that, that's specified that's, as landscape, is that going to include trees as well? So yes, sir. That's a 30 foot landscape buffer as well, including vegetation. <coughs> Any other questions? Okay, hearing none, we'll move into the public hearing portion of the meeting. Is there anyone here that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. <clears throat> Good evening, my name is Matthew Cox. I am oh, sorry. Uh, my name is Matthew Cox. <coughs> I am a homeowner at 4095 North Drive East. Um, I'm not the best public speaker, so apologies in advance. Um, I had a whole thing listed out here for tonight, uh, opposing most of the original plan. Um, I have not seen the updated plan uh, until tonight, so um, <laughs> honestly, a lot of my um, Issues have gone away, but they are still. They are still um, still some concerns. Uh, uh, since I live in the Glen Laurel subdivision, the <coughs> concerns, I guess, then would turn to the duplexes on the north side of the property, where you have <coughs> overlooking single-story homes, with giving them no privacy in their backyards. Um, the other issue that was brought up at the planning, uh, planning committee meeting was the fact that there are not enough parking spaces at the current, uh, uh, I don't know if the current or the updated plan adds additional parking spaces, but there was only 1.8 parking spaces per unit at that facility, and it was characterized at the planning committee that it was housing targeted towards low income and military families. And if any of you know any military families that you know that most of them are either uh, married or partners with civilians, so that's going to typically going to be a two-partner, obviously a two-car household or two-car uh, dwelling in uh, 1.8 spots per unit. It's not going to suffice for that many uh, units. Um, but uh, I, I, I hope that this still gets stay either commercial or uh, I, I am happy to see at least that the plan has been revised to put the community center, excuse me, uh, the community center on the adjacent properties to uh, to the Dunmore subdivision. Any questions? Any questions for the speaker? First of all, you did good. <laughs> I, I hate public speaking, so. So your concern about the <clears throat> Are y'all seeing issues in Glen Laurel? Uh, no, not us. It was just mainly at the, at the uh, planning committee. There was concerns brought up that. <coughs> so you're not feel, fearful that they're red? No, I don't, I don't care about their properties. They're, they're parking, but it, it, it's a point that I would contest that it probably still needs to be Okay, and but I wasn't trying to be, I was, was just making sure that they weren't parking in no, Glen Laurel on the side of the road. No, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you, sir. We have about seven minutes. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in opposition to this request? Hearing none, is there anyone here that would like to speak in favor of this request? Please come forward and state your name and address for the record, please. Melanie Farrell, 3548 North Crossing Circle by Lockstep. I'm a representative of the owner and developer, and since the planning commission approval of our site plan we did take into consideration the concerns from the citizens we have increased the number of parking spaces and we have more than the code requires i think there's there's over two per unit now and we moved the building so that no buildings no three-story buildings to overlook the residential boundary so I just ask that you approve our request and you have any questions. Any questions? I just uh, um, had the question again about landscape. I, I know y'all did everything you can to work with them. 
really like the revised uh, conceptual plan. Uh, but in the landscape buffer area, which include um, some trees, additional we trees. We will definitely in include trees. And we, you know, we like to in include as much landscaping as we can. Um, it's really required, usually by our funding. So yes, yes, sir. Appreciate it. Now, in this group of investors or owners, they have other similar properties? We do. We own 55 similar properties all over Georgia. So we're based in Georgia. We have 11 properties in Lowndes and Belasta, and eight of those are, well, are, are a similar kind of house. So not hard on parking, but, it, but this is no different. This particular no. design is no different than some of your other No, we, I mean, we usually typically build two per unit. And, and we've never had an issue, and we, we've only had an issue one time with elderly housing that had less than one, one and a half units uh, cases. So, no, two, two per unit per family has been. Are those parking spots assigned? No. Any other questions? Anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? Okay, hearing none, I give opportunity to the opposition for rebuttal. Thank you. 